What's happening, guys? What's happening? Well, I caught one by the tail. <laughs> Here's a guy that's angry because of a video I posted about Dabo Sweeney and his lack of head coaching experience and how if you don't have any experience, They'll just give you the job because in most cases, white skin is the qualifier, you know, then football. It's not football, then white skin. It's white skin, then football. And, you know, this dude was pretty upset about it. Look at him. Like you can, you can see the your racism. You can smell it through your phone. <laughs> like your phone is, is reeking of confederacy hate, you know. But hey, they they never point out where's the lie. Like they never say I lied. They just simply say something like, "I hear in Africa they're starting a football team, and well, why not pack up and leave? And there's your shot. You're just going over to Africa. You and all the other English just go to Africa. Always want to send us to Africa, you know. But here's the thing I want to point out, you know. As African-Americans, we've been victims of this thing I call inferential statistics, right? It's not something I made up. It's a thing that actually is. It's where you take a population sample and you gather information off of that sample. And they always use it in the case of us. They use it in the case of crime. They use it in the cases where there's abortions. They use it in the case where any, any, any kind of way they want to make white people appear better, they use inferential statistics. Well, y'all only represent a small portion of the population, and then there's all this crime, you know? They don't tell you that the number one person who's murdered in America are white women, and they're murdered by white men. If you look at the actual data, right, line for line, then you will see white men kill white women far more than African American. But because of inferential statistics, they are allowed to get away with painting a picture, picture that there's so much black on black crime, right? Well, let's apply inferential statistics to this particular item right here. Here is a white person, right? Making a racist comment. Now, inferential statistic is when you take a population sample. So if you use this as a population sample, what can you conclude about SEC football fans? See, this is what I mean by when you hold up a mirror and you show them how fucked up they really are. You ain't got to debate with them. You just hold up a mirror and say that, OK, from this, I can conclude that my African-American child don't need to risk his life playing football for these white universities, because it's obvious his life doesn't matter. It's clear right here. The person say, hey, go back to Africa. Go back to Africa. Huh? Imagine that. Someone who isn't even from here telling me to go somewhere. <laughs> and my family been here since 1789, you know, like been freed slaves since 1804. But here's this individual who probably came on a boat much later than we did. This is a population sample of how they feel. And you need to think about it as you pick and select your kids extracurricular activity. Huh? I know we like sports and I, like, I know we love all of these things, but you need to know these are the people when you're sitting in the stands. Right. Th these are the individuals that's in that football stadium with you. This is the person your kid is risking his life for entertaining racist ass people like this. So just wanted to point it out and I'm going to finish interacting with them because I believe that racism is a gene. I don't believe it's a learned behavior because if it was a learned behavior, white people had 400 years to unlearn it. So if they still are, have perfected racism to the degree that they have perfected it is because they enjoy it. If they didn't like this shit, it would have stopped a long time ago. They used to drown white women in Salem, calling them witches. Do they do that anymore? No. They learned a better way. They learned that, hey, you know what? She's probably not a witch. But when it comes to African-Americans, they still, today, even today, 
where they stop killing witches, they still hate black people until this day because it's genetics. It's passed down from one person to the next. They come here predisposed to hate us. That's why we're never going to get rid of it. Stop trying to get rid of it. You're not going to get rid of it. Don't even waste no effort. I don't even waste an ounce of your time trying to get them to stop being hateful. Why? Why? You're just going to get a public face and a private face. Focus on you and your family, right? Making sure your kids are, are, that you proof your kids from these people, that you fortify where your kids are not subjected to people like this. And they don't have to be, not in schools, not in no capacity. And that's the challenge that, that's before us as African Americans, not trying to convert them or change them because you can't. Focus on us, right? And stop entertaining them. Because, you know, when you're entertaining somebody that hates you, that's called, it's not football, right? That's a menstrual show. It's black facing. It's your boy, TJ, football prophet.